Yo, what is up guys? If you guys are interested in winning this Champions Path Lead Trainer Box, head over to the giveaway link in the description below and follow the rules. I'll also put it in the iCard above right here. If you would like a second entry, then follow me on my Instagram, share my post on your story, and tag me in it. This will run until December 24th, 11.59 PST, which is Christmas Eve, and then the winner will be announced on Christmas Day. Good luck to everyone who enters, and on to the video. Yo, what is up guys, it's Retro Giraffe, welcome back to my channel and hopefully everyone is doing well. And also, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you guys out there, hopefully you guys are spending time with your family and loved ones. For today's video, we have a very special unboxing, this is something that I've been holding on to for quite some time, probably like a few weeks or so. And you guys have seen it in my mail time video, so I'll leave an eye card above, but we have the Shiny Star V booster box right here. And as you saw in that mail time video, I actually did buy four of these boxes, and I kind of want to take my time opening the boxes because... I kind of want to cherish the set, it's a really special set, and also um, they are going to reprint it sometime in February, I believe. So I kind of want these boxes to last until then. But yeah, so on the front cover we see some notable shiny Pokemon that's featured within the set. We have shiny Charizard, we have shiny Toxtricity, we have shiny Scorch, we have a shiny Dragapult, a Bolton, a Ditto, I really want to pull that Ditto. And last but not least, we have a Lapras. And on the side panel we see some artwork from the set, so we see a Coughing, the Ball Guy, Thwacky. On the other side, we see a Rotom, we see a amazing rare Eveltal, and a Snom, and nothing much on the sides right there. So let's open it up and let's get right into the packs. And this set is actually very special. Not only does it contain the shiny Pokemon, but it also contains God Packs. And for those that don't know, God Packs were initially introduced in this set right here. This is Tag Team All Stars. This was the last set released for the Japanese side for the Sun and Moon era. And this basically contained all the tag team Pokemon. And within these packs, you had a very slim chance of getting all holographics in the single pack, which was considered a god pack. So they reintroduced that within this set. So hopefully we can pull that. I'll show some pictures on screen of people actually pulling some god packs. So I'm very excited. So let's get right into it. And this box actually contains 10 booster packs. So it is a little bit smaller than your typical English booster box. But let's put this pull tab up like that. And we see the same artwork open this up and also this QR code I believe is the set list so if you guys want to scan that definitely do so and let's take the packs out and we have 10 shiny star V booster packs so I'm gonna split the piles of 5-5 and let's get right into it make sure the packs are in frame actually let's put it on this side and without further ado let's get right into it so if you guys saw my previous video of the Kanazawa box that's actually my first time opening the shiny star V packs but this is going to be my first booster box worth, so I'm very excited. I guess the pull rates are going to be a little bit more consistent in a booster box compared to like a special box like that. So I do not know the pack trick, so let's just get right into it. So we have a, we have a Squovet to start off, a Ndidi, Darumaka, a Silicobra, a Turbo Patch, very playable, Galarian Lanoon. Okay, we're starting off with a Hollow Rillaboom. Oh, wow, from the get, we're starting off with a amazing rare, Kyogre. Whew. To say the least, these amazing rares are insane. The artwork is impeccable, like the hollow pattern as well is just amazing, no pun intended. But man, I say this time and time again, these amazing rares have the best hollow pattern. We have the hollow energies, we have the hollow like retreat symbols, the little rainbow A on the bottom. Everything about this card is just amazing. And we have a Lapras VMAX Full Art. What in the world? I'm very curious to know how the pull rates are going to be for the Shiny Fate set that's coming out later in the year. But yeah, um, we have a Lapras VMAX and we have a Toxic Croak Reverse. Sorry, I meant Krogunk, but yeah, this reverse pattern is so trippy. Big fan of it. But yeah, let me actually figure out how I'm going to do my piles. So hopefully this system works, we have the commons, we have the reverse, hollows, amazing rares, and like the ultra rare pools. But yeah, moving on to the second pack. And already starting off with a banger of a pack. And for our second pack we have a Krooky, a Corvusquire, a Dedene, a Bird Keeper I believe, a Scorch. Oh, our first shiny of the box, we have a shiny Dragapult. Let's freaking go. Or is it Dragapult or Draclock? 
Sorry, it's not a Dragon Ball. It's actually Drake Cloak. I actually have to look it up. But we have a Drake Cloak Shiny. We actually need a separate pile for the Shinies as well. Okay, I need to make some room over here. Let's put the Shinies up here. Okay, next we have a Holographic uh, Zacian. Very nice. A Inteleon Holo, best starter. And we have a Crobat B. So I believe this is very playable in a TCG format. I believe this card goes for around like $10 or so. And for our reverse, we actually got a, um, I believe this is called like a Team Yell Marnie Towel or something. You see it in the game. They kind of hold it up uh, in the background as Marnie fights. But yeah, so very nice reverse. I love the reverse pattern on this. I wish the English side of Pokemon can implement it in the Shiny Fate set, but we'll just have to see. Pack number three, we're starting off with a Spinarak, a Hone Edge, a Blip Bug, Rusted Sword, Greedent, a shiny Eldegoss. Okay, very nice. I love the new foil design. Like before, I think it was just like a plain like silver sheet, but then there is like a starburst pattern in the background for the shinies. Very, very nice. Oh, nice. We actually got the special Gengar artwork. This is a... Uh, I believe we got this Gengar in the Alistair and the B special Champions Path box, I believe. But man, it's so nice how they put it in the set. And we have a Tapu Koko, also very nice. Hey, we got a Ditto V. And I actually did pull this card in the Kanazawa box, so very excited to get another one. And we have a Silicobra Reverse uh, Hollow. So what I'm going to do to make this opening a little bit faster is I'm actually going to cut the tops off of these, so be right back. And now with the top of the sleeves cut off, let's actually just move on. It should be a lot faster now. And I actually like how the packs are kind of set up in a way where like the last card is like the rarest card. So very nice on Pokemon Zen. So we have a Coughing to start, a Toxel, Clefairy, a uh, Glimwood Tangle, I believe. We have a Aegislash, very nice. Garbodor, Toxicroak, Hollow. Galarian Perserker Hollow, Indeedy Full Art V, very very nice, and we have a Hatrem, Hatrem, yes, Hatrem, I always get the names mixed up, but very nice reverse. So nothing too exciting, but still, you get two Hollows, you get a V, and you get a reverse, which is insane value. I feel like the English side would never do that for these packs. Alright, next pack, we have a Mysterious Fossil, a Impotent, Ghastly, that's a very interesting artwork. Um, I don't know the name of this. Is this called like Training Grounds or something? I know that this is where you chose your starter in Pokemon Sword and Shield, but I don't know the name of this. We have a Barrascuta. Oh, shiny Ducklehead. Pink and purple where the usual color is blue, so very nice contrast. We have a Oranguru. I believe this card is somewhat playable as well. Hollow. Oh, best girl. We had to pull her. We have a Marnie Holographic. Oh, wow, let's go. We have a Toxtricity VMAX. Man, that swirl is insane. The coloring on these cards are insane. Wow, okay. And for our reverse, we have a Galarian Meowth reverse. And do not worry, guys. I will be sleeving these cards right away after the video. But as of now, just want to continue on with um, the pulls. And I almost forgot to mention, but there is a full art Marnie. I really want to pull that. That goes for crazy amounts of money. But Marnie is best girl, so it definitely makes sense for her to be at a high premium to get that card. All right, so for our next pack, we have a Wulu, a Rolicoli, a Trubbish, a Quick Ball, Haunter, a uh, Metal Plate, Metal Saucer, I think. A Hollow Frost Moth, very playable. A Falapple Hollow. Eldegoss V, very cute. And a Thwacky uh, Reverse. And I can't get over the reverse design. If you guys just see it in the light and everything, the way it kind of like ripples out. Uh, I need to calm down. Okay, so I believe we're halfway through. So we have four packs left. Let's get right into it. Can we pull that shiny Charizard? We have a Galarian Yamask, a Drizzile, Turfield Stadium, I believe. Ariados. Oh, Hollow Toxtricity. I believe this is like the chill form or something because it's like blue. We have a Zamazenta Hollow. Sorry, wrong pile. Zamazenta Holographic. And we actually got the V form of Toxtricity. Very nice. I believe this is called the Amped version because it is yellow. And we have a Galarian Mr. Mime Reverse Hollow. We're down to our last three packs. And for this one, we're starting with a Sobble, a Bunnelby Komiya Art. Very nice. A Rotom. Ball Guy, a Thwacky, a Horror Energy, a Hatterene Holographic, very nice, a Hollow Hoopa, and we have another VMAX Ditto, very nice. 
So I did pull the Ditto V and the VMAX in the Kanazawa box, so definitely good duplicates to get. I'm a big fan of Ditto. The theory about Ditto is that he was actually failed experiments of people trying to clone Mew. So that's why they have the same shiny color, the same attacks, you know, which is transform from the get. So very interesting, just some food for thought. So we have a Ditto VMAX and we have a Quick Ball Reverse. Okay, down to the final two. So we have a Choodle, a Applin, a Galarian Zigzagoon, a Dracozolt, I believe, a Hiding Energy, a Mancino, that's very cute. We have a Milotic Hollow, a Colossal Hollow. Oh, wow, okay. What in the world? We got a shiny Rillaboom VMAX. Whew, man. The shine on this, like the little spiral effect for the hollow, the glitter. The stars, the golden stars, everything about this card, man, it just pops right out of the card. Wow. Do you guys see that? Like, one, we have the glitter, but also we have, like, this, like, swirl pattern in the background. Wow. Okay. So, shiny, Rillaboom, VMAX. Secret rare. Very, very nice. And we're ending off with a reverse Sinus T. Alright. So I think that's probably our ultra rare hit. So let's see what our final pack can give us. Since this is our final pack, let's actually slow roll this. So we have a Yamper, a Clobopus, Snom, Rose Tower, I believe, Dreadnought. I love this artwork. It's such a cool design, in my opinion. We have a Capacious. I actually Googled the word to see how it was pronounced, but we have a Capacious Bucket. We have a Holographic Dragapult. Hollow Suicune, and a Dragapult V. I wonder if it kind of goes hand in hand. If you get like a Hollow version, you get the V version of it. Because they kind of did that for um, the Legendary Heartbeat set. If you got the V version, you got the VMAX of it. So maybe they are doing that. So we have a Dragapult V. And for our last reverse, we have a Aegislash non-Hollow. So usually for these videos, I don't really like doing a recap because I feel like people just skip towards the end to see what the pools are. But for this set, I feel like we just had to do a recap of it. And these sleeves don't really do justice to the card because the front is matte. It kind of takes away the glossiness of it. But still, I wanted to keep these guys protected and put them in my binders right away. So we're starting off with a Crobat. We have a Indeedee. We have a Eldegoss. Toxtricity. A Dragapult. Ditto V. A Ditto VMAX, moving on to the VMAXs now. We have a Lapras VMAX, Toxtricity VMAX. Moving on to the Shinies, we have a Drake Cloak Shiny, Eldegoss Shiny, Ducklet Shiny, a Kyogre Amazing Rare. Such a nice artwork. I love the hollow design. And last but not least, we're ending off with the Shiny Rillaboom. VMAX. And with that, that is it for this box. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And for the giveaway that's ending tonight at 11.59 PST, I'm actually going to extend it until Christmas afternoon, 12 p.m. PST. So if you guys haven't already, please sign up. The giveaway link will be in the description. Also will be in the iCard above. And I'm pretty sure you guys saw the details of it in the beginning of the video. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys liked the video, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want more content like this, please subscribe. It's completely free and it helps me out a ton. And also, if you want to be notified for future videos, please turn on the bell notifications. But yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays to you guys. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.